All right, in this video I want to show you uh, another bone constraint that you can use. Uh, it's very helpful for setting up feet, but also the hands as well. And that's the copy rotation constraint. So here I have uh, a basic foot set up for this character. So this IK constraint here is driving this whole leg. And then I have this uh, copy rotation constraint on the foot that is keeping that foot um, rotated a certain way. That lets me set it up so that uh, my character here can plant his foot on the ground and then move past and that foot doesn't go anywhere. This is a little different than how my hands are set up. You can see this is following, this is following the IK constraint, but then the hand is just poking off the end like that. You could also set up a rotation constraint for the hand as well. Okay, so how did I set this thing up? Well, let's go back over to edit mode. And I'll do two things here. I'll extrude down from this ankle one bone. I'll call this uh, foot IKR. And then I'll take the foot and I'll just duplicate it. So I'll press Shift D to duplicate. And then I'll move it down to the bottom of my IK bone here. Okay, let's call this foot, foot <laughs> rotation R. And now let's set the parents of these things. So I want this rotation bone to uh, move with my IK bone. So I'll set its parent to be the foot IK R like that. Um, then I'll look at my IK bone here and I'll just make sure it's disconnected. Now I can go back to pose mode and I'll set up uh, these constraints. So I'll click on my shin bone here I'll add the bone constraint for inverse kinematics and get that set up just like before. Put IK R. I'll give us a chain length of two. Oops. Now I'll click on that foot bone and I'll add the copy rotation constraint. And then I'll set it to foot rotation R. So now that foot is going to copy the rotation of this bone. Now, uh, sometimes you might have trouble getting these things to bend the way that you want them to. One solution is to go back to edit mode and just add a little bit of bend to the knees in the direction that you want them to bend eventually anyways. That ought to help us a lot. Yeah, that looks much better. Pretty reasonable for a leg, I would say. Now, the reason that I have my rotation control bone as the child of my IK bone is that I can just manipulate this one bone, my IK bone, and the rotation control is gonna move with it, which is pretty cool. I could even go in here and hide these rotation bones if I wanted, because I'm not gonna need to move them separately from that IK bone. So we can click through, hmm, let's see. <laughs> yeah. So we can click on the bone and then go into viewport display and just hide it if we want. Once my character is all rigged up, sometimes I'll even do that with uh, the leg bones, some of, some of these arm bones. Any bone that I don't think I'm going to want to control directly, it's just going to get in my way, I can go in and hide like that. So now I've got this one bone that controls the foot's position and its rotation. That's it for this video.